Hi, Mark here. Trust your well. Today's Lightroom Classic quick tip comes from a support forum that I help out in every now and then. Where the member asked, is there a way I could speed up my workflow regarding image data? I shoot a lot of the same things and I'm having to manually typing that data. And this was the response that I gave. Now, before we dive into Lightroom Classic, I'd like to tell you about my live Lightroom support groups. Most Monday evenings, 7 p.m. UK time, I host live on Zoom, a Lightroom, Lightroom Classic and Photoshop support group, where we look at a theme, a task and end our 90 minutes or so together answering your questions as a community, because there's more than one solution to any question. If you'd like to know more about that, just visit learnlightroom.co.uk. So let's jump into Lightroom Classic and I'll show you my solution to the forum question. Here I am, Lightroom Classic. I'm running my training catalogue version 12.4. The question was, I have a lot of repetitive image data. How can I quickly apply that to multiple images. Yes, we can fill in the metadata on the right hand side of the screen once and we can sync that information. But let's say we photograph the same narrative. So it could be a bird of prey. It could be this steam locomotive and we keep repetitively applying the same data, IPTC data, to the image. So caption, keywords, title, description, your contact information. How can you at one simple click apply that information and just change a few words? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is create a preset. So we come up to our metadata, edit, metadata presets and you can have as many of these as you like so we can start expanding these triangles and applying the data that we want to apply to our preset so copy name label if we want to use this caption headline copyright data and where the box is ticked on the right hand side, that will be saved to our preset. And we can even come down to keywords and we can put in keywords to the image. And then what we do is we go up and go up to the top, click on the menu, save as a new preset and we call it a name. Now, the great thing is if you haven't ticked the box, so let's go to basic and copy name isn't ticked, but we've typed something in the copy name or the headline or the description or the caption, it doesn't overwrite that information. It only overwrites or adds the information in the preset in the tick box. So once we've applied it, we've saved it and applied, all we do is we select the images. So let's say this group of images along the top, we come to the top right hand side to our metadata, click on the preset that we want by the drop down. It will now ask us, do I want to apply that metadata preset to the selective images, either the active image or all of them, just press select all and it's applied that metadata to all of them. But perhaps, this image here has got a different description to this image here, or perhaps this image here has got a different headline. As long as, if I go back to metadata, edit preset, as long as this blue tick box on the value of the field is not ticked, it does not overwrite it. So what that means is we can have a base preset of the narrative of the data, so keywords, description, headline, whatever you'd like to do, and your contact details. 
saved as a preset and apply that to a group of images. Now I hope this Lightroom Classic tip was a great help for you. If it was, please give me a subscribe, a like. Consider joining us on Learn Lightroom on a Monday evening, 7 p.m. UK time, where this is the type of thing that we do each week on a Monday, 7 p.m. UK time. Take care, stay safe, bye for now.